Hello. For this Fleet Manager 2 video, we'll be doing an in-depth look into using the software to change the settings on your gas monitors and the docking station. I'll post a link in the video description below on where you can download the Fleet Manager 2 software. Once installed, let's go ahead and open the application. From here, let's go ahead and log as an administrator. Click on login and type in the default password, which is admin with a capital A. Now, since we're currently working with the MicroDoc 2, we are going to choose configure device via MicroDoc. Go ahead and select the first option since we have the docking station connected via USB cable to our PC. Our MicroDoc 2 is listed. Select that and press OK. It will start to retrieve the current settings. On this window, you have the device configuration settings for your gas monitors. Let's go ahead and work on the gas alert Max XT2 settings. Under the user options, we have the ATEX performance appliance, which is a more of a European application. But as you can see, for every change we do to it, it will display a red highlight until the changes have been saved. You also have an updatable option, which tells the docking station to automatically enable or disable the feature when docking a new gas monitor. The next setting is lockout on self test error, which locks out the gas monitor by turning it off if there is a sensor issue like a fall or even a failed calibration. The next option here is safe mode. It will remove the live gas readings on your display with the message safe until it goes into alarm. It's a way to simplify the use of the instrument to the user. The next features are force bump and force calibration. These two options will turn off your gas monitor on startup when the unit has detected it requires a calibration or bump, forcing you to perform those tests. The Cal IR lock option will lock the gas monitor until you perform a calibration using either a docking station or when connected with an IR link cable. On the latching alarms feature, it will make your gas monitor stay in alarm even when the gas levels have stabilized. It will clear until you acknowledge the alarm by pressing the push button on your unit. Next is the force block test. If enabled on a Max XT2 with its integrated pump, it will have to pass the initial block test after powering up. If it fails, it will turn off your gas monitor. For the Intella flash and confidence beep, when enabled, will give a visual and audible indicator that informs the gas monitor is functional. If we enable these features, we can modify how frequently the unit will flash or sound off. It's a neat feature to have. So for example, you could have the IntelliFlash enabled and someone from a distance can see the unit on his colleague is working correctly. Next, uh, we have the option here to change the dialog intervals of your gas monitor. And you could change the value, which is by default set for 15 seconds, but you could change that to a higher or lower frequency rate. You can set the language of your gas monitor. And let's go ahead and click on updatable for confidence beep and teledox. You can go ahead and leave a message on the startup screen for your gas monitor. And I'll just go ahead and click on updatable. On testing options, you have a couple of settings for your docking station, like disallow bump test and disallow calibrations. The automatic calibration after failed bump test feature will automatically start a calibration if your gas monitor failed to pass the bump test when docked on the microdock. On automatic calibration for do sensor upon insertion, the docking station will go into calibration when the new sensor has been replaced. After that, we have the automatic bump test when docking gas monitor. 
it's a feature I'm going to go ahead and enable. And let's go ahead and enable the automatic data log download. So when your unit is docked, it will automatically transfer its recorded data. Moving on, we have the sensor configurations. And since we're working with the Max XT2, which is a multi gas monitor, we have an individual tab for each of the four sensors. By selecting a tab, you can see a wealth of options we can modify. Starting off with the calibration gas concentration value. Next, we have the calibration intervals, which is 180 days by default. You can also change the bump intervals. Let's go ahead and change it to two days and click on updatable. You can change the low and high alarms, the TWA and steel alarms as well. There is a bump test low percentage option, the auto zero on startup, which is enabled by default on a Max XC2. If you head over to the LEL sensor tab, you have additional options like the correction factor value, which you can modify depending on the combustible gas you're working with. And if you're having trouble with a specific sensor, you can always disable it through the software. Down here, we have the program options for your MicroDoc 2. We have do not reprogram by default. So everything we have selected as updatable will not take effect unless we change it to one of the other options. So let's go ahead and choose automatically reprogram, including time and date. So every time we dock a gas monitor, it will change the settings and update the time and date seen on your docking station. Let's go ahead and save this to the MicroDoc. And now your settings have been saved to the docking station. And that will be it for this video on changing your gas monitor settings for the Flea Manager 2 software.